around 4 billion hectares, or 30% of the area on Earth, are covered in forests. 4 billion 4 billion hectares, or so, are covered in forests, 16 million square miles. That is around 8% of the total surface area of the Earth, or 30% of its land area. About two-thirds of the world's forest cover is held by 10 nations, with the Democratic Republic of the Congo, 1.8 million square kilometers, Brazil, 4.8 million square kilometers, the United States, 3 million square kilometers, Canada, 3.1 million square kilometers, and Russia, 7.3 million square kilometers, leading the pack, 1.8 msqkm. Biodiversity is stored in forests. Moreover, half of all plant and animal species are considered to reside in the world's woods. The Amazon rainforest, more especially the region where the Amazon meets the Andes Mountains in Peru and Ecuador, is home to the highest biodiversity ever observed on land. Other hotspots of species richness include the forests of Borneo, New Guinea, Northwest South and Central America, and the Congo Basin. Per hectare, some of these forests may include more than 300 different tree species. There are hundreds of billions of trees in forests. Scientists concur that there are hundreds of billions of trees in the world's woods, yet the precise quantity is still hotly contested. A 2015 estimate put the number of trees at 3 trillion, with 1.4 trillion in the tropics and subtropics, 700 billion in the boreal regions, and 600 billion in temperate zones. According to that research, 46% of the world's trees have been destroyed in the last 12,000 years, and it is predicted that 15.3 billion trees are felled annually. Massive amounts of carbon are stored in forests, and they also provide other crucial ecosystem services that support life on Earth. Through the process of photosynthesis, plants absorb atmospheric carbon into their tissues as they grow. Large trees and other plants abound in forests, which allow for tremendous carbon storage. However, much of that carbon is released into the environment as carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases when they are burned or cut down, nitrous oxide, methane, and other nitrogen oxides. 10% or so of the greenhouse gases produced by human activity come from the burning and clearing of tropical forests and peatlands. So, maintaining and restoring forests is essential to reducing climate change. According to a 2015 study published in the academic journal Nature, tropical forests by themselves may have the 2050 carbon emission reduction goal. However, forests do much more than just store carbon, they also help to regulate local temperatures, play a significant part in maintaining rainfall and weather patterns through transpiration, reduce riverbank erosion and runoff, stop cycles of drought and flooding, and serve as vital habitat for millions of species. Every year, enormous amounts of forest are lost across the world. There is no doubt that significant portions of forest are still being cut down, even if estimates of worldwide forest loss vary depending on how forests are defined, how loss is measured, and how long ago the data was collected. The net loss of natural forests was estimated by the UN Survey of National Forestry Organizations to be 6.6 .6 million hectares annually between 2010 and 2015. The tropics, led by Brazil, Indonesia, and Myanmar, accounted for the majority of that loss over the past five years. But even larger levels of gross forest loss were shown by satellite data that just examined changes in tree cover, 19 million hectares in just 2014. The majority of forest loss is due to human activity. The majority of the world's forest destruction is caused by humans. The production of food and cattle, logging, and forest fires are the main causes of deforestation. Through purposeful fire setting, forest degradation, and other human-caused changes to the environment, humans are making fire outbreaks worse. This is especially true in areas like the Amazon where woods don't ordinarily burn. The primary drivers of deforestation in the tropics include logging, road development, which exposes distant forest areas to conversion, commercial and subsistence agriculture, including palm oil and cattle ranching. The biggest gross forest cover loss occurred between 2012 and 2014 in Russia, Canada, and Brazil. 
In certain nations, forests are regenerating. While the majority of the world's focus is on forest loss, certain nations are seeing a recovery in their forests. For instance, after being destroyed for millennia, enormous tracts of forest have regrown in North America and Europe. Recently, nations like Costa Rica and New Zealand have halted the trend of deforestation. Several countries are also actively restoring trees to restore ecosystem function, including China and Rwanda. There has never been a better time to monitor forests. Forest monitoring has undergone a revolution in the last 10 years, largely due to the increased accessibility of satellite imagery and increased processing capacity. For instance, the platform Global Forest Watch, which maps forest data, now makes it possible for researchers, decision makers, business owners, and environmental organizations to track deforestation in almost real time. This kind of capability allowed for greater environmental law enforcement, which contributed to the dramatic decline in deforestation seen in Brazil since 2004. Users have also benefited from the usage of tools like Google Earth to better perceive and comprehend dangers to forests. The woods that are home to indigenous peoples are some of the best protected woodlands. According to research, indigenous peoples live in some of the best preserved forests in the world. Given that generations of forest dwellers are aware of the importance of the environment on which they rely for food, shelter, and water, this makes intuitive sense. Additionally, studies have shown that regions where residents have legal access to forested lands have higher maintained tree cover. 80% of all forests are managed to protect biodiversity. The UN estimates that 5.24 million square kilometers, or 13%, of the world's forests are maintained largely for the preservation of biodiversity. In terms of forest areas set aside for the preservation of biological variety, the United States, 65 million hectares, Brazil, 47 million hectares, and Mexico, 28 million hectares, take the top three spots in the globe. The largest forest area within designated protected areas is found in Brazil, with 206 million hectares. Without woods, the soil washes away and erodes, compelling farmers to give up on their fields and causing the cycle to repeat. As a result of these unsustainable agricultural techniques, barren soil is left behind, making it more susceptible to flooding, particularly in coastal locations. Huge sections of trees are swept away, causing exposed land to wilt and die and destroying the habitats of innumerable animals. The indigenous populations that live there and depend on the forest to preserve their way of life are also under risk. We in the more industrialized parts of the world will never truly comprehend how the loss of trees affects their way of life, despite our own need for what the rainforest provides. Indigenous peoples have a far higher sense of immediateness. Governments of nations with rainforests on their borders frequently attempt to push out native communities before the actual clear-cutting begins. This is one of the prophylactic effects of deforestation. This is all for today. Thank you for staying with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. See you soon.